When hundreds of jumbo squid washed up on the Southern California shore in 2005, most people saw it as a mystery. But researcher Ali Mizarez saw it as an opportunity to collect more specimens of squid beaks, which are soft as jello on one end, but sharp as a knife on the other. Imagine if you had a, um, a knife embedded in jello and you, and you try to cut uh, meat, you probably make much damage to yourself and to the jello. Miserez and his team at the University of California, Santa Barbara, have a very practical reason for studying squid beaks. When you want to join dissimilar materials with very different mechanical properties, uh, so very soft to very hard, usually it's, uh, it's a tricky business in material science. Unlike teeth or bone, squid beaks are not made with minerals. As they explained in the journal Science, the researchers analyzed the beak's chemical structure. They found that it's a blend of protein, complex carbohydrates, and water, and the blend varies from tip to base. Miserez wants to apply his findings to creating new graded materials. And with this kind of structure, if you could copy it, that would be a good option. He says such materials could someday be used for new kinds of prosthetics, medical implants, and even specialized glues. I'm Brad Closa.